Never been a draw in a Melbourne derby. And it is a star-studded look about these two teams as they make their way out onto ABD Stadium, hosting its first Melbourne derby. As you'd expect, the grandstand is packed for this one. Melbourne City joint top of the ladder, matching what the Western Sydney Wanderers have done so far with three wins and a draw and an undefeated start. Ten points out of a possible 12 for them. And the Melbourne victory only played three games so far. A win, a loss and a draw. No, it is very difficult, especially for left-footed people, I think, because there's, it's so rare. There she is delivering on the right. Great effort. Dumont had to be brave, diving at the feet of Emsley. McCormick only as far as her opposite number in Emily Van Egmont. So Catley made a good fist of it, didn't she, with the delivery on the right? Yeah, she did. Look who executed it, Ivy Lewick. No one passes better in Australian football than Ivy. Here's Miatovic. Mrs. Carpenter, who made a really promising run inside. Menges to Ayres, back to Allen. Menges caught by Kinga. Early ball is on. Emsley, the Scots, and blazes over. She had more time than that. Still yet to score in the W League, trying to emulate what her countrywoman did in this fixture. Beatty and Little both scoring in the second ever derby in a 4 0 win for City. And she is again holding things up as the victory struggled to play out from the back. Lewick, perfect pass again to Stott around everyone. Van Egmond in goal scoring form, kept out by Dumont, who throws the cap away. She's done with that. Oh, Emily, she would be disappointed to miss that one, but uh, good to get in that good position. Had another chance, and the header did not test Dumont. As one of probably the, the best performers in the W League at the moment. Been a real rotation in the squad, hasn't there, of goalkeepers. Willisy got a chance most recently. Eliza Campbell as well in recent times. Here's one to chase for Dowie against Checker. She's got the speed. Does the English woman and turns Checker inside out. Advantage here for Dowie, who picks up the run of Longo. Trying to force it to Ma. And straight down the throat of Lydia Williams. Well, Tash Dowie has made something happen again. How exciting was that from Tash Dowie? Great run, great to get her body in the way there from Checker, and there's nothing you can do as a defender. Cheeky little back heel through the legs. Uh, and she could have gone down there and would have got a free kick, but decided to keep going. And Van Egmont gets so many touches. Dropping that little bit deeper. Off the head of Beard. Carpenter tried the first time ball. Now she's got plenty of options. Whips it in back post, just deluding Emsley. They ask for handball, they get it. Penalty given. Not sure that is supposed to be given in the modern interpretation, but an unnatural position is what the referee Isabella Blais says. Thought Tegan Allen just her control let her down. It was an unfortunate handball. Great ball in there from Ellie Carpenter, though. She put it in such a good position and and Claire Emsley running into the box, and unfortunate there from Tegan Allen, but... Van Egmond can hit them sweetly. It's got a hurricane from coming from behind her. This could travel. Good luck stopping it. Emily Van Egmond! Oh, Dumont does! The penalty-saving specialist! What a season she is having! We see that penalty again, and... And Emily hasn't put it in a bad position, but Casey's read it really well and just got her body behind the ball. Inside to Hanson, who has played for the senior US national team. This lady would love to down the track. Darian Jenkins through the legs of Carpenter. Couldn't quite finish off the nutmeg on the other side, but she's got some moves in her. Darian Jenkins, fired back in by Ma Dowie. That was a half chance. For Natasha Dowie, she knows it. Brilliant ball in from Grace Ma. You're travelling and then you've got to come up, come back and you've got the games to make up as well. So there's two sides of it. But uh, you definitely take travelling over not going, that's for sure. Oh, another 50-50 for Catley to contend with. It breaks the way of Emsley into the area. Clever cut back, Miatovic! And the block from McCormick this time. 
Didn't leave it to Dumont. So City have had their chances, but still this derby remains goalless. Um, a little bit more than what we're seeing. Stock advancing. Lewick. Told to shift it to Barnes. Hatley is ready and available again. Miatovic. Cut back. Cut out by Menges. Now Kinga. Got underneath it. Stabbed it well over in the end. But lovely build up down this left hand side again. Brilliant build up there from Melbourne City. Uh, again coming from Catley and a great little ball in for Miatovic. And Bombing on down this left hand side together. Now Simon, lovely pass in behind. Miatovic looking for Kinger in the middle. Simon picks up the second ball. What about the shift and the shot? Didn't have the pace though to test Dumont. Such a good build up player again by Melbourne City. They're starting to play some very exciting football. And again, it's that player, Miatovic, getting on the ball. Menges going long. Here's the pace of Privatelli. Barnes just had to back off in the end. And Privatelli's around it. Oh, that was a chance. Just poked it too close to Lydia Williams in the end. Great ball in there by Menges. And then, as he said, shows her speed, Leah Privatelli here. Great run. Lauren Barnes would know her as a player. They would have played together throughout the time and knows how quick she is. Barnes, grand final winning hero with the victory in 2014. Catley lifted the trophy that day. Now both with City. Look at that ball from Catley. Awkward for Beard. She's teed up Kaya Simon who goes wide with the effort. Took a long time to set up the shot. Still had the bottom corner at her mercy, but it just won't go in for Kaya. What a great ball here from Steph Catley. We see her getting down the line all of this second half. Another great ball in. Kaya Simon on the end of it. She's been involved in all of the play. Might get it via Carpenter. Got to stay on side. And she does. Deflection on her cross. Oh, it almost went up towards the left hand of Jenna McCormick. They've already given away one penalty. Watch the edge of the box is the cry. Catley to deliver. Doesn't look for Carpenter. All the way in. Lewix header. Back off the post. They're getting closer. And Ivy Lewick doesn't score too many goals. That would have been one to save her in a derby. Joint top scorer in derbies down the years with two. That's the most anyone has ever scored in this fixture. The previous eight editions. In the beard at close range. Another corner. That count is mounting. She is someone who can hit one like that, though. She's got great technique. Scored a special goal to nail Sydney FC last week. Saw off the champions last week, now trying to beat the reigning premiers. Oh, must be! Kinga from Melbourne City. It's another late, late winner in a derby. What a brilliant goal there by Yukari Kinga. And again, it's come from Steph Catley. She saw the space in behind. She signalled to Emily Van Egmont to slip the ball in behind so that she could get a cross into the box. And it's just played out perfectly for them. Emily Van Egmont, that little ball. Steph Catley cuts it back. And what a finish into that top corner by Kinga. They just don't do derby draws, these two. Melbourne City with the latest ever winner in a derby. It comes from Yakari Kinga, the World Cup winner with Japan. Had the poise and composure to finish off. Brilliant lead-up work again from Steph Catley. And Melbourne City making a sensational start to the campaign. The winners of three straight championships when they first came into the competition. Look, one of the teams to beat again. A smile on the face of Kaya Simon and company. Four wins out of five. 13 points out of 15 for Melbourne City, who win the ninth Melbourne Derby, 1-0.